going to walk you through um, Unit 4, Lesson 14, um, Stage 5, which is on polymorphism, and they've given us a class called Solid, that, and an eddy solid is supposed to have a name, and it's supposed to have a method to find volume and a method to find surface area. So the first kind of volume I'm going to make is a simple one, which is a rectangular prism. So first of all, prism needs a couple variables. Prism needs a length and a width and a height. And the constructor rectangular prism should need a name in the form of a string and should need the doubles for um, whatever the length is going to be and whatever the width is going to be and whatever the height is going to be. So first of all, we're going to do a super uh, using the name. In other words, we're going to call, create a shape with whatever name they gave us for this prism. And then the length of this prism is going to be the length that got passed to the constructor. And similarly with width and height. And then we need a couple constructors, or a couple methods, I should say, for volume. And surface area. capitalizing correctly there. Okay, so I'm going to copy this because we need this for all of our classes. So volume for a rectangular prism, I just want to return length times width times height. And for surface area, I want to return six rectangles, two of the rectangles are length times height. Two of the rectangles are length times width. And two of the rectangles are height, height, I can spell height, times width. So I got length, height, length, width, and then height times width. So that should be all I need for the rectangular solid class. And the rectangular solid already has a way to figure out volume and surface area, so therefore it should be really easy to make a cube. So all the cube needs is a double for the side, because all the sides of the cube are the same length. So the constructor just needs a string for the name of this cube and then a double for the side of this cube. And once again, we'll call super using the name and that'll create an object. And then actually we'll say super the name comma the side, comma, the side, comma, the side. So we're basically creating a rectangular prism where all three sides are the same length. And that's all we need to do because the rectangular prism already has a method 
for figuring out the area and the volume, will, which will look, work the same for a cube. Cube just has all sides the same. Okay, so now moving on to sphere. Um, a sphere needs a radius. So private double radius. And then the constructor needs a string containing what the name of this is going to be and a double containing what the radius is going to be. And we're going to create a shape using the name that we want this sphere to have. And then set the radius variable to equal the radius that they passed us in the constructor. And that's all we need for our constructor. Create a shape using the name and then make the radius equal to the radius. And then we need our methods for volume and surface area. So for volume, we're going to return 4 times pi times the radius to the third power and then divided by 3. So 4 thirds pi r cubed. And then for the surface area, we're going to return 4 times pi times the radius squared. So 4 pi r squared for the surface area. And I think we're done with the sphere. Okay, now cylinder. A cylinder needs a couple different variables. Cylinder needs a double for the radius, and cylinder needs a double for the height. And in the constructor, uh, cylinder, we need a string for the name, we need a double for the radius, let's call it the radius, and we need a double for the height, and we'll create a shape with this name by calling super, and then we'll also set radius equal to whatever radius they passed us in the constructor, and we'll set height equal to whatever height they passed us in the constructor. Okay, so now we need to create the methods that are going to return volume and surface area. So for the volume of a cylinder, it's just going to be pi r squared h. So we're going to return pi times the radius squared times the height. And then for surface area, it's a little bit different. We're going to return 2 times pi times the radius squared 2 pi r squared. That's the top and the bottom of the cylinder, and then 2 times math pi times the radius times the height. That'll be the surface area. 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. And so we got volume and surface area there for a cylinder. We got cube, we've got rectangular prism, we've got sphere. Only thing left is Pyramid. Now, pyramid's a little bit weirder. Um, pyramid, I'm going to create five variables, three of which I need for the definition of the pyramid, and the other two I need for calculating surface area. Um, so I need private length, private double length, private double width, 
private double height. Um, so that's those three in the order that they're going to get passed to me. Then I also want to have a private double height slant on the width side and a private double height slant on the length side. I might explain those a little bit later. We'll see if we have time. Public pyramid. So I need a string. That's the name of the pyramid. Then I need a double. That's the length of the pyramid. Then I need a double, which is the width of the pyramid. And then I need a double, which is the height of the pyramid. Okay, and I forgot over here, let's see, rectangular prism, we're going to need to copy this over here for pyramid, okay, okay, so now I need when I create a pyramid, I first of all need to create a shape using the name that was passed to the constructor. And then the length of my pyramid needs to be equal to the length that got passed to the constructor. And so on with width and height. Okay, now these slant heights are a little bit weird. So I've got height, slant height W is math.power of a really ugly expression to the one half power. That means square root. So I need to square, I need to square something and I need to add that to the square of something else. I'm going to add those two squares and then take the square root. So I'm kind of doing Pythagorean theorem here. And I'm doing Pythagorean theorem on the height of the pyramid and the length of the pyramid divided by 2. Let me make this a little bit bigger. So the height of the pyramid, the length of the pyramid divided by 2. Square both of those, add them together, take the square root, and save that. And then height SL is going to over here, instead of length, it's going to have the width. So volume is kind of easy for a pyramid. We're going to return the length times the width times the height divided by 3, one-third base times height times width. Surface area is the ugly one. We're going to return, first of all, we need to do the length times the width, which is the bottom of the pyramid, and then we need to do this slant height, SW, times the width. And then we need to do this slant height SL times the length. And that'll be the surface area. So we've got three different components there to the surface area. And I think we've got all of that done. Let's run the code first of all to see if there's any errors. And I got a couple errors here. Okay, this should have been public double and public double and so that means that's got to be everywhere it doesn't like that anywhere that i wrote that all of those should have been public double and this should have been public double and this should have been public double and in cube in cylinder this should have been public double and this should have been public double and let's see if we run okay now 
Okay, there's no errors there, so let's see if this...